The first thing we want to roll into, right? You know, yeah. video game awards that yep. finally aired Thursday. Um, and there was a whole bunch of stuff that was, a lot of reveals. you know, a lot yeah, of reveals, shown. Yep. yeah, a lot of games were shown. Um, you know, all of the winners, you know, the losers, people that we think shouldn't have won, whatever, yep. you know, but, um, one of the games that, you know, we had all seen and it, it probably caught our eye was perfect dark. Right. Yep. I mean, that, that was one, a big one. Yeah. No one saw that coming. I don't think it looked, it looked, uh, interesting i feel like there's there's perfect darks has been a, a series that's been out for right? a long for time a while in 64 yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah so um this one i you guys would have to to rekindle my my uh memory on perfect dark but i feel like perfect dark was like a 007 where it's just like yeah, a, a, the, sh- a girl. Yeah. fps like more futuristic shooter or something mm-hmm. like that right yes yeah. like, you got it but it, is it was it like a competition thing or was it an actual game no, like it was an actual game. Campaign and all that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So this one seems like they're traveling like everywhere. Like you got, you know, you're going all over the world. Right. And all, you know, all in different Planet areas now, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. So um, once again, uh, is is Perfect Dark an Xbox game or it's on mm-hmm. all systems? So, it's ex- it will, Well, they released the remastered on Xbox, the original yeah. Perfect Dark. So it looks like this one's going to be Xbox exclusive. I know. Like, I was getting that vibe, yeah. actually. Because yep. that first flash screen, you, you have the yeah, Xbox. Yeah, I was getting that vibe. Um, and Or it could oh. be timed exclusive. We don't True. know specific, but it I'll, did. I was getting I that vibe. Because who made the previous ones? Rare, right? Rare. Mm-hmm. So since Microsoft owns Rare or they have some collaboration with Rare, um, I think it'll be Xbox exclusive. Okay. So it just seemed like it was, you know, it was going down the lines that normally Xbox does where they just give you a damn trailer. They don't show you anything. I know. Yeah. So uh, yes. I was a little frustrated with that. Like I should have seen gameplay in this. Something. But, you know, yeah. Two but, seconds of or something. What did you guys think of, you know, of this announcement of Perfect I thought, Dark? I thought it was good. Um, I'm very happy that Microsoft's getting something. Because I love the <laughs> conflict of, you know, PS5 versus Xbox Series X. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, Microsoft, you guys got something else up your sleeve. Is it big enough to make a, a huge impact? I don't know, because Perfect Dark is kind of like an old school game, you know. Um, I know a lot of people say, you know, it was maybe ahead of its time. Or it had like a lot of good qualities. I personally played a little bit of the Nintendo 64 version. And then when... Uh, they released a rare remastered collection. I did download the okay. old school version and play it on the Xbox on the One. Well, it's on the, the 360 X- version, right? On the Xbox One? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I, I messed around with it maybe for like 30 minutes. It, it didn't super get me into it. Um, but I'm excited to see what it brings. And if it, this is another exclusive for Microsoft, I wish they were a little bit more blatant with it. Like Microsoft exclusive. Only for Xbox. Yeah, something. something you know? Yeah, they didn't really tell us. You just saw that you get the Xbox vibe, logo. yeah. So you know it's going to be an Xbox deal, but you don't know if it's timed, if it's actually exclusive, yeah, or it's fully know. exclusive. I, I want more exclusives. Like I want exclusives to happen. I want Same. them to cater I like this to man. the Xbox Series yeah. X and make it perfect, though. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, provide your consumer, your customer, with something special and unique. You know, yeah. like I like exclusives. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I'm on this a lot of the same boat as Mark, especially with the notion of it being an old school game, like. There's a problem here that I don't think a lot of people are noticing. It's like we all, not we all, because I know not all of us have played it. I didn't even play a lot of Perfect Dark. Mm -hmm. Very little experience with it. But by we all, I mean the gaming community as a whole remembers Perfect Dark very fondly. Mm -hmm. And it is basically in a sense like a a, a sequel to 007, uh, like a spiritual successor, right? Because it's the exact same game almost, but just with a different skin. And that's what Rare was going to try to do. They were going to take what formula they had that worked, the 007 formula, and just like reskin it with new IPs. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of like what they did with Perfect Dark. But you have to remember. It's like what they did with like Shadow of War and Batman. Yeah, with Shadow of War and Batman. They yeah. just kind of reskin mm-hmm. a formula that works. And it does. It's fun. Yeah, like It's a fun formula. Yeah. You want to play that again, right? Right, right? But the thing you have to remember with this game in particular is it was very new. First-person shooters were very young. It was on the N64. It was a single stick first person shooter, not a dual stick. So a very different experience, a de- very different uh, mechanically inclined game versus what we play today. So you can't just like, 
oh, relaunch a beloved game like Perfect Dark and expect it to be successful because it was launched so mechanically different in such a different era and in such a different way that they're going to have to completely reinvent this game. And that's what I'm worried about. You can't put any stock really in what the original game was because this is going to be none of that. It's going to be a whole new experience. And that's where I worry that, and that's why I think they haven't actually done anything with (laughs) 007 or Perfect Dark ever since then because it's not like Call of Duty, right? If you go back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the formula hasn't really changed amongst all these years and generations, right? Because it's it's still... Even the original Modern Warfare still falls into like modern day mechanics, right? Twin stick, you know, um, trigger pulling, zoom in, zoom out, you know, first person shooter mechanic. Right. Yes, the graphics have improved. Yes, the guns have changed. Yes, the feel of the guns and the frame rates and the resolution has all improved and all been in, as all is all better. But that formula can be used still. That formula can't be used. Like the 007 Perfect R formula, it can't be used. It just it can't be. And so I think that's partly why we haven't seen anything. And they're taking a bit of a risk by making a new game um, that's so old um, and making it all new. There is a risk there. And they're going strictly off the name to hope, hopefully make this game successful. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of like excited for it though, because you know, you're taking like an old IP. And then you're revamping it, mm-hmm. essentially, right? Because it's got to... You're it's reinventing gotta, it, Yeah, really. it's got to yeah. be a totally different gameplay mm-hmm. than what what has been made before. And it's kind of like, um, I I would believe in my mind, uh, Fallout. Like, I, I feel like Fallout was something totally different than what it was when you got, like, Fallout yeah, what, 3. Yeah, they reinvented Fallout yeah, 3, for it, sure. It was a totally different game. And yeah. then it's like, what is this? This is awesome. You know what I mean? So um, I'm hoping that it's that same type of aspect, you know, where it's, you know, you've got, like, you know, the same protagonist. But, you know, it's like this cool new world and different way to experience you know, that type of, you know, setting or whatever, you know? And yeah. so um, I'm definitely looking forward to to seeing, you know, what's in store, you know, I'm, especially for it to be such an old title. I agree. I mean? Like, there's excitement there. Because, yeah, yeah sure. if they do what Bethesda did and really reinvent something great, right. then we're all better. We're all better off for it. We're about to enjoy that. But there, it's just going to have to be something reinvented. Yeah. Going to yeah. have to do that. Yeah, they're probably they're probably banking on like not too many people remembering that Perfect Dark was a game that's been out yeah. like, you know, years years ago. It's way different, man. Yeah. Yeah. I think too they're going to have to add some more modern conventions to the game. I know the 360 version did have some multiplayer. So it was, you know, on track there when it came out mm-hmm. and i think maybe even the n64 may have had some, yeah the n64 had a cool um uh, like a 1v1 or it was like, like an operative double operative mode where like i come in as perfect dark or what's her name sarah dark or something like that and you come in as a random um you know gang member in the building mm-hmm. and i don't know which npc you're actually possessed in right mm-hmm. and then when you die you pop into another one Oh, okay. So it's kind of a cool mode because because yeah. eventually you come across an NPC that actually does know how to shoot and does know how to fight back, <laughs> yeah, and it's dangerous. Cool. It's kind of you don't that's know dope. which one it is, right? Yeah, yeah. So that was a cool mode, and no games have really ever incorporated that that's kind dope. of mode. So hopefully, the uh, Dead by Daylight wasn't that some some mm, something like that? Similar? Not sure. Oh, there might be a Doom mode that kind of is like that. I think where you possess a demon or something like that, and you run around. Mm. But I think like all the demons were that. I don't know. Where in this one, everything is an NPC, but there's one in there somewhere. That's, you. That's an actual that is person. An actual person. That's dope. Yeah, so it's a really neat idea. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully they capitalize on that because um, you know, in today everything has to have some multiplayer Definitely. lore to it. So mm-hmm. hopefully I feel they like can those games have to have multiplayer, right? You have to. Something, first something shooters. Something that old that well, shooters you have to, yeah. yeah. So hopefully they get that right. I think that'll be the main selling point for the game. Um, but they are pi- piggybacking on, you know, uh, a lot of fans like Sir Knight was saying, there is a big following for Perfect Dark mm-hmm. in general. Mm-hmm. So they are going to get those people to get it. Um, obviously, it's going to be on Game Pass if it's a Microsoft exclusive. We'll play it. So we'll play it, yeah. you know. And Definitely. I'm happy it'll be on PC. Um, so we'll, we'll see how this game comes out, you know. Yeah. yeah. So how do you feel about Back for Blood? Oh, this man. one I wanted to mark so, on this. 
I love Left 4 Dead. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right. I played it on the PC for countless times with friends, yeah. family, coworkers. This is just awesome franchise to me. Um, when Evolve came out, I bought that game day one. Uh, shout out to Joe. He Evolve. bought it too. We were hyped to play this game. La Puma? La Puma? What? <laughs> Joe La Puma? Uh, you know, Joe Diaz. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, uh, Turtle, what, what Turtle Rock, right? Turtle. Yeah. So they kind of missed the mark on Evolve. So I was excited for Evolve too, man. I, I never uh, got into it, but yeah, go so ahead. So I bought it day one on PC. So I am not sure what to think. I'm, the game looks incredible. It looks like the continuation of Left 4 Dead. Mm-hmm. You know, it looks awesome. The trailer had me hyped, but I'm just in the back of my mind worried that it's not going to live up. And in the back of my mind, it's like, man, if I play this game and I don't, I think that it's, it just has me worried. You know, I think I might end up going and playing Left 4 Dead 2 when I'm done. Is this, <laughs> is this a sequel? Is this like a DLC? Is this an update? Is this all new? What is this? All new. I don't think it would be a DLC. Okay. It's, it's just it's not all a sequel. New, it's an all new. It's all new game. Okay. Cooperative So player. it's like Demon Souls being changed to Dark Souls. There you go. Okay, it's like it's the same kind of thing, but a Correct. Whole, they created a whole new universe. Okay, yeah. mm-hmm. all right. So I'm super hyped. Trey looked awesome, um, but I just have that little reservation just because Evolve tanked. Like mm. I, I know I remember it did. I bought I it was day one. For, there was a lot of hype on that. I game, bought dude. it day yeah. one on Steam, and then within yeah. a month it was on sale That's in crazy. a bargain bin for a buck. You get it for like a buck or two. Within now, a yeah. year, free to play. Yeah, you know so. I only got burned a couple times in that way. What was the other game we played? It was on the Sci-Fi channel. It was based on a show. Um, we played that game together. Whoa. It was on PS3, based on the Sci-Fi channel. It was a show. I think it may have started. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It was a M- M- MMO. Yeah. It was that MMO. That MMO shooting game. You Alien around, shooter game is MMO around, shooter. Bugs, you were World playing Quest. a while, dude. Which one? You were playing it a while. You have a car you drove around in, and you shot anyways, bugs. That game. You bought. shot bugs? That yeah, Alien Bugs. We bought it. 60 bucks. It was an MMO, world. dude. Open world. Okay, so it was Sci-Fi Channel. Yeah. Sci-Fi. Sci-Fi Channel MMO. MMO. For what? PS3? It was for all systems. But we, I played it with you on the PS3. Hmm. Defiance. Yeah, Defiance. It That's had the show. Yes. See, now you're you remembering. Remember that. Yeah. So that's yeah. another one that I got burned you're, on. <laughs> that was the second Dude, you were on that. You didn't Dude, was Wow. Ass. Dude, you were on that for a minute, bro. I was because uh, because their whole gimmick for that one. So don't judge me, people. But their whole gimmick was is like. You love the show, I have, right? You yeah. have this sci-fi show. And then all of the characters that you, you Watching see the show in the show, in the game. you will encounter in the game. And I, I do remember that being like their biggest sell point, yep. that things would happen in the show that would then happen in the game. Right. And um, I did play it because I was trying to stick with it and see if it yeah. was something Yeah, you put good, a time in, bro. It definitely, More than Mark put in. That game yeah. was garbage. Mark like. is... <laughs> But Mark oh. is always the one that'll like leave you up river without a paddle. No man, like, he'll start he'll, with you and then he'll, leave you there. He'll man. help you with the boat and he'll be like, "Hey, so this is the way you gotta go. So we gonna go up there, right? And then you get in and you start flowing down the river. And I gotta then go, man. He'll just bust a right yeah, and yeah, then gotta, dock real yeah. quick and be like, "All right, deuces." And you're there with the paddle. Because that's yourself. how you. Hey, that's how you did this with uh, what was it uh. Damn it, DC Online? Yeah. You did this hardcore with DC Online? What? Dude, there was nothing to do with that game. <laughs> what you are you had, talking about? He left you there. had there was no, the there was hell no... out of that game when it had introduced. But yeah, you guys got me. That's and, why I uh, bought a console. And Elder Scrolls Online, yeah. too, dude. You left us over the paddle on that one as well. Elder Scrolls yeah. Online, you... for sure. <laughs> for sure. Elder All right. Scrolls. All right. So I do have a trend of doing this historically. <laughs> but, but. Go ahead, but go ahead, go ahead. DC Universe, you guys got it first. You guys played it on, on the PS3. That's the sole reason why I got a PS3 is because of you guys. So you guys sold me into it. No, 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 no. I, I, I remember You guys that, sold me into it. I remember that we told you that it was coming out, 
and that it was this game or whatever, all this. It was an MMO when I wanted to play stuff. with you guys. So you were like, okay, bet. So day one, you had gone and got a PS3 or whatever, and then you got the game, and then you was like, okay, we're going to set up a guild, and we're going to call a guild this. No, that was you. I would never call a guild nah, nah, That was That was you. No, I came up with the name Sepulchre. No, no, but no. But it was uh, no, no, no. it was Dude, you, you that was saying. You guys got it wrong. It. Look, you guys started on week one, and you guys were playing it. Ray was playing it on his TV right here. Uh huh. You guys were all into it, and I think you guys even had childhood friends. I think Ishmael. Yeah, mm-hmm. like a bunch of people playing it. You guys had a guild going. I came after. I got it a week later because you guys were like super dedicated into it. You guys were even doing dungeons together. And then I started a healer. He saw me healing. He's like, dude, your, your healing is good because you used to heal with him in dungeons. We did all the dungeons. There I was, was trying no, to fight too. There's <laughs> no raid content, and that game was a bust on launch. All right. No, I do remember you you dipping though before we dipped. Well, Cause there's yeah. nothing to do. But you actually joined you a left different us. guild. We were I joined a different yeah, guild, yeah. and I did the end game content, and there was literally no, I completed the whole no, game like, in like two months. Okay, there's like it's like in the middle, I think, between what happened here. But you, no, you, you do you told you, us about it. Yeah, but you do build a big vision, like, and you built a big vision <laughs> of the game with us. Yeah, like I you thought were it was there bigger than us. what it was. But it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't just you joining us though. Like you built a, you had a vision and a, an idea. That you shared and we all were like incorporated with. I and, but, but you okay, started the so, guild. You yeah, started the guild. Yeah, yeah. Y'all maybe, started the guild yeah. and maybe I joined. Because I, I would never call Sepuku. Come on now. I wouldn't Why call not? What's wrong with Sepuku? <laughs> that no, has, he's just saying he would never call it that. I would oh, never call it that. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying in a, maybe if it was a Ghost of Tsushima. It doesn't come to his mind to think about that. Yeah, maybe if we were playing Ghost MMO, but come on, not for like a superhero game. All right, so I might give you that that maybe I have more to do with with DC Universe. But you cannot tell me that you didn't have nothing to do with uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Dude, no, Elder Scrolls is all you, man. I, I, okay. You <laughs> hyped us for that one. <laughs> I don't remember You hyped us one. for that one, dude. We were all going to join it. Another game we wanted to play. Another I don't even remember that one. And Elder you, Scrolls Online, man. But that game was a whack, too. It was whack. <laughs> but the thing is, still you going blew strong, us though. Up, best, man. best on-gaming game of the year, man. Dude, you were hard, man. You were like, convinced. This is it. This I is the one with you guys. that WoW is going to end. I wanted to this play with you guys. This is the one that's going to end I never said that. I never said that. No, but you were convinced that this was not that it was going to kill WoW, but you were convinced that this was the next big deal. That this was the next big thing, man, for Yo, us to play on. But he don't. Man, gotta, he doesn't just like stop playing the game. He goes and trades the whole console. <laughs> and like Dang. you stop, you yeah, stop fucking just, with the whole he, system. Hey, hey, the crazy thing is, I still, yeah, he's, he's, I still play yeah, so Elder funny. Scrolls online from time to time. So uh, I've stuck with it on over PC, the PC, right? On the yeah. PC, yeah. All right, I've, on the I, console, I went back into it at on one the console point. I think on the console, on the console is complete junk. Like. Uh, I don't like it on the console, but no, I like it on the PC. No, I remember like I had to con- I kind of had to convince you that this is not good enough because you were very dude. You were committed. I, was, I won't say you were co- you were convinced that it was going to be, but you were committed I, I, to wanting it. That you were going to give it your hundred percent effort. All right, listen. So for Elder Scrolls Online, it was me and the homie Luis. Remember Luis? Yeah, yeah, I remember all right. Luis. That was Luis the other was night. on it way so, later. So me and that guy, we were we were trying to progress in that game. Now. Ray started planting the seeds that, man, this makes me want to go back and play WoW. And I was like, dude, not. But then I started thinking all the shortcomings in that game. It's like a current game, but it's not really. It misses the mark. So I kept, I started, man, and wow, this happened. And wow, this happened. And I ended up quitting that game and going back to WoW. But it wasn't, it wasn't me, but. I do have that trend. Shout out to all the friends of that. You know, I got I played a game with you and I did. I do do that. But these are two times that yeah. hey. Okay, I'll take some responsibility for Elder Scrolls Online, but I will, but it is a fact that you were committed, man. Like you were tunnel visioned on making this thing work and making this game be the best game, and then you cold turkey it. Yeah, because yeah, it was, Wait, it but, was, but was I didn't was, like the game, so I left too. Wasn't I was trying. Pretty, I left too. I, I had high hopes, it, man. Weren't you, you were pretty trying. tunnel visioned in uh, Destiny also? And then you slid yeah, out. Yeah, then of you, Destiny? dude, you just we had created a you dude, had created you the slowly clan. Destiny anything, one, man. Destiny yeah, you one? had created <laughs> the clan. We was like in it. We was playing. We was doing dude, stuff. You and then you just like dude, Mark, after you're a hundred or zero, dude. Like you're either like in it or you're out. Yeah. Like you don't slowly like taper yourself off the game. That's what's so funny, man. You're just done. <laughs> you're just yeah, on like to when the next when game. the yeah, when that the happens from time to time. Yeah, you'll literally buy a system just for the game, and then if that game ain't it, you trade in that game and the 
the system in. A hundred percent, man. Zero, hundred to zero. Right. The system, yeah. hey, for the viewers I got out there, money that I can get that with. That. Hey, no, for the viewers out there, Mark, but for the viewers gone eventually. Hey, for the viewers out there, this is over the past <laughs> ten plus years. So, I have took these things in consideration over the years, <laughs> and I have a PlayStation Four, an Xbox One, an Xbox Three Sixty, yeah, a Switch. But you just got that hoe like whoa, whoa, this year, right? <laughs> PlayStation 4? Doesn't matter. I have all these things and I'm collecting them. I have a Game Boy Color, a Game Boy Advance. I'm building the archives, all right? Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> you go no, so like, get to the it's source. a good and bad thing. I'll say it's a good and bad thing. It's a good thing because, dude, Mark, when when he commits, he commits and he's there while he's committed. Yeah, while he's I'll there, give yeah. him that. Like, that's a good thing. Not a lot of people will do that. Like, some of your friends will be like half in, right? They'll join like halfway and they'll just kind of be there halfway. And then they kind of just eventually float away. But, Mark, then he'll just 100% out of you. And it's so true, man. I can't. I'm hey, sure Marcus rode around in that stupid Defiance Wasteland <laughs> by himself for so long. Nah, dude. I'm pretty sure because I think Mark was the only one that was yeah. playing yeah. Defiance with me. Yeah, he was. It didn't last long. Yeah, after yeah that, that game was like, a I think yeah. I might have even only watched like three episodes of it. And yeah. I was like, dude, this show is complete bunk. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like if, if we can all be honest, like sci fi channel does not have good shows i think i've only encountered like two to three good shows ever on the sci-fi channel and that was like eureka and then uh warehouse 13 i only watch the sci-fi channel for the twilight zone marathon uh on the Twilight New Year's Zone? Eve, yeah. oh, okay. when they do yeah. the new, when they do the Twilight Zone marathon New Year's Eve, that's the only time I click into that channel. You watch the new Twilight Zone? No, nah, I don't watch the new Twilight Zone. Man, you gotta watch the, the new Twilight Zone. Oh, the new good. Twilight Zones yeah. are dope. Okay, really well, the old ones are dope. They like moving, but anyways, yeah. 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 But yeah, yeah. But yeah, moving on. But I feel like I don't do that as much these days. Like, nah, nah. What games you, do I do you've definitely held on to the PlayStation a lot longer than I thought you would have, because I thought you would have traded that back. Because I. Like, I I, I did that. No, as I'm a, actually impressed how long you sold on to the Xbox. I did this as a starving student, right? I made minimum wage. Mm-hmm. I lived on my own. So if I wasn't playing something, I, I sold it. Can't afford it. to keep it, yeah. So, you know, I made four, $300 a month, $400 a month. My rent was three something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I if I didn't use it, I sold it. Yeah, I remember you were like... That? You were like pretty good at like turnovers. Like mm-hmm. you would get some cool stuff, and I had and then to let it like go. if you didn't, if you didn't, if you weren't playing with it or you weren't using it or whatever, you would just like sell it yeah. and then take that money and then go and get something else. That and you then when I'm ready to total buy it. bummer though, but man. There'd be, definitely that's what I had there'd to do be so many times you're like, dude, this new game about marking a play. Oh, I sold my. Play. It's like, ugh, yeah, it's like, happened ah, a lot, man. Play, man. But that was back in the day. All right, this was ten plus years ago. Now, I have <laughs> now the, you got bread, you got systems. Now I have all the systems. I have no reason to sell them. I keep them forever. Yeah. But back in the day, I was always a PC guy too. Mm. So the yeah, console was like, stay with one of the console was like you have to, an accessory, yeah. you know, back in the day. But now I see the value in it. I like it a lot. Anyways, but anyways, back on. for blood looks dope. <laughs> like I can't wait to play it. Like yeah, it yeah. looks actually sure. fun. Like it doesn't look gimmicky. These guys, they took the risk. They showed us gameplay. Right. And we got to actually see how the game feels. The guns look like they feel good. The gameplay looks exciting. It looks like it's fun killing zombies. Mm-hmm. It looks like there's some heart pounding moments with the titans, you know, whatever yeah, you want to call those sure. things. Um, oh, the big old the zombie big old joints? zombie guys look yeah. pretty, you know, heart pounding. You know, so it does look a lot of fun. I hope they can find a way to recapture that Left for Dead, you know, feel because um, that game's getting a little bit dated too. That game's getting a little bit dated. I Left think for too. Dead? Left for Dead. Um, yeah, that really- style kind of of four player run to the zone, run to the next zone. Like, I don't know if it's worn out. It's welcome yet. You know, I don't know if it's. If it's it, I'm just saying, it's getting to the point where I'm about to be starting to wear out. It's welcome. Do you, do you but, happen to know any other games that that played like that? I can't even recall any that that mm, had just like World War Z is a new one that did that. World War Z. I say I never played that one. Yeah, it's is a, that any good or not? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's on okay. Game Pass. Right. The graphics are incredible. But you see how like no one's play playing that, that but right? No one's playing it. Popular. Like it's kind of left. Yeah. It's kind of overstated. It's welcome. It's a great game, and it's kind of like people are kind of tired of it yeah. so i'm hoping they can rekindle some of it with this game because yeah. this does look like a lot Killing of fun forward, i also too. think that a lot of games are doing it now too like i think that robin hood's kind of like that i think that vermin tide 2 is kind of like left for dead mm. the new warhammer 4000 yeah it's like that where you have like a co-op group and you're going 
to a yep. zone, to a space, oh, okay. to a location. Just dealing with like So there's waves. like lots of, yeah. like they started that genre. Left 4 Dead mm-hmm. started that genre. Yeah. But it's kind of like petered out. Like it's it's not as exciting and fun yeah. for people. People are more right now in Battle Royales. I mean, that's the new thing right now. So I hope yeah, they can rekindle they're gonna some of that. They're going to run that into the ground. Yeah, they're going to run into the ground, just like they did with this. You but know? So I think we'll those see. are here to stay because, like, MOBAs was what they started running to the ground. MOBAs were, like, yeah, coming up MOBAs everywhere. are kind of starting. But they're here to stay. League yeah. of Legends here to stay. I Smite's think Battle Royale. still going strong. Yeah, Smite is still going strong. So we'll see if they can rekindle that genre. But, uh, but yeah, it yeah. looks fun. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, uh, you know, me just looking Price at it. Price is going to matter. Price is going to matter big time enough I play it. For sure. Yeah. Uh, but just looking at it, I thought that the trailer was dope. Uh, mm-hmm. Like I, I really liked the trailer. It looked like it had character. Uh, it looked great. You know what I mean? All that stuff. Um, but from my previous experiences with Left for Dead, it wasn't anything that that like I think I bought Left for Dead, uh, the first one. Mm-hmm. I didn't buy two Same. because I just wasn't that interested in that type of game. Gotcha. You know what I mean? I thought it was cool. I thought it was something. It's like. Um, a solo glorified uh, um, zombie from Call of Duty or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, I would rather just play that because it comes with a whole nother game for me to do other stuff in than to just buy, you know, like, like yeah, that. Yeah, I agree. But, like, I felt the same way. I felt like it was very, um, there wasn't a lot of depth to Left 4 Dead. Mm-hmm. Once you did it a few times, you kind of did it. And you're like, okay, I'm kind of over this. It's not a lot of replay. There's not a lot of re. I mean, you can re- keep replaying it indefinitely, but there isn't a lot to build on or do over and over and over again. You know, like, yeah. like kind of like once you did it a few times, like, okay, I, I, we we do it, we 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 accomplish it now pretty consistently. Now it's kind of over. And it's I think probably that's probably like problem a really good like genre. you know party game or something like that. Yeah, you, know, like you have some friends over you know, and you squad play. or something. Yeah. You know, I mean, play that. I love you, me.